Hello everybody, today we're going to work with blogs. I'm going to show you how to create a new blog post and how to modify the settings and also possibly how to delete it. Um, if you go to posts under your dashboard, all the existing blog posts are listed here. There's one called Hello World, which is a default blog post done by WordPress itself. And that is a basically a uh, placeholder blog post. Um, in order to see that and you want to see what it looks like, you can go to your web page and go to blog. And that is that post. You see Hello World and there's a little paragraph here as well. So um, if you want to delete this one and get rid of it, all you need to do is to hover over it and click trash. So if I go back here and re refresh my page, that will disappear. All right, now we need to go back to the dashboard and need to create a new blog post. So under the posts, you can click on add new or you can click here on this button that says add new. Um, this is the block format that you're familiar with, uh, exactly the way you would create a web page in WordPress block format. You can do it here as well. So I'm just going to create a new heading here. And if you wanted to type a paragraph, you can just do it here. And on and on, you can click on the plus sign here to add more block elements. Um, and we're already covered all this. I'm not going to go through this one more time, but I'm going to show you things that you can do for your blog. So first and foremost, I'm just going to publish this. Click on publish twice just to make sure that it goes through. So I'm going to come here and refresh my page again. And this one has appeared. Okay, so back to here, uh, what you need to do is to click on the gear icon on the top right corner of your page. So now uh, we're going to go over all these elements here. First and foremost, if you click on visibility, um, this is pub published and it's public. So that's what that means. Um, the permalink basically the link of the uh, web page or blog page that we just created is going to look like this whatever your website address is slash that and um, there's no category assigned to it you can create categories for your blog so i'm just going to click here add new category and i'm going to type a new category for it and um, i'm going to call it summer activities and add new so let's just uncheck uncategorized and check summer activities so this blog post will be uh, listed under this category all right so now uh, you can list your tags here tags are basically phrases that people would type in order to find a blog post so you need to po uh, you need to type a list of them here that are basically more relative to the post that you've just had for instance i can say summer in my city whatever yet the city name is um, and press enter and uh, you can enter uh, add more sunny places for travel and so forth um, under feature image, uh, you can add an image to your blog. I'm going to click here and select one. You can upload an image or you can use images that you've all already uploaded to your blog post. So I already have a few, so I'm just going to choose this one and then set as featured image. All right. Um, then there's excerpt. Basically, if you have a very long blog and somebody is open it in the, on their cell phones, um, it, the excerpt is the only thing that they will be see in a first shot and then they can tap on it and basically read the uh, rest of the blog. So you can just summarize your blog here in pretty much one sentence. And of course, discussion and blog posts are dynamic pages and we do want people to comment on them. So just make sure you have allow comments checked. And also you want people to share them um, with each other. It actually helps the ranking of your blog posts. So it's good to um, allow 
ping back and track back as well and uh, whenever you're done with this you basically click update and that's pretty much uh, it uh, thank you for watching